Let's try 2015 Amy 2 problem 6. And we have a conversation going on between Steve and John. Steve says to John, I am thinking of a polynomial whose roots are all positive integers. So that's a crucial information. The polynomial has the form p of x is 2x cubed minus 2ax squared plus a squared minus 81x minus c for some positive integers a and c. So we know a and c are positive integers. Can you tell me the values of a and c? And after some calculation, which we are about to do, John is going to say there is more than one such polynomial. And Steve is like, you're right. Here is the value of a. And he's going to write down a positive integers. That's a. And he's going to ask, can you tell me the value of c? John says, there are still two possible values of c, and we wish to find the sum of the two possible values of c. So how I'm going to start this question, let me rewrite the polynomial. p of x is 2x cubed minus 2ax squared plus a squared minus 81x minus c. We know the roots of this polynomial are integers, and let's let those be r1, r2, and r3. And we know these are positive integers. They are greater than 0. And all of them, all of them belong r sub 1, r sub 2, r sub 3. All of them are belonging to integers. So let me, let me rewrite r2. So r sub 1, r2, r3 are all integers. So what do we know? Well, let's start by applying Vieta because whenever you have a polynomial, it's usually, usually it's very nice and you have many equations to work with once you apply the Vieta's formula. So let's apply it. So we have the sum of the roots r sub 1 plus r sub 2 plus r sub 3 being negative of the coefficient of x squared, so 2a, divided by the leading coefficient. So we know r sub 1 plus r sub 2 plus r sub 3, or the sum of the roots is a. What else do we know? We know r sub 1 times r sub 2 plus r sub 2 times r sub 3 plus r sub 1 times r sub 3, the second symmetric sum, is going to be the positive coefficient of x, so a squared minus 81, divided by the leading coefficient or 2. We also know r sub 1 times r sub 2 times r sub 3 is negative of this, or c, divided by leading coefficient, so 2. So we have some equations going on. What can we do with these equations? Hmm. It's very interesting. Well, we, we know a is r sub 1, r sub 2, and r sub 3. And we have a squared, so why don't we try making a substitution? So let's plug this value into our a, and that's going to get us r sub 1, r sub 2, plus r sub 2, r sub 3, plus r sub 1, r sub 3. Let's just let this be second symmetric sum, so we don't have to write the thing out multiple times. So we have second symmetric sum is equal to a squared. When you square, when you square this quantity, you're going to get r1 squared plus r2 squared plus r3 squared. r3 squared, you don't want to cube it. Plus, 2 times the second symmetric sum, because you're going to have r1, r2, and r2, r1, you, and similarly for r1, r3, and r and r2, r3. So you have two of them, 2 times s of 2 minus 81, and you want to divide this to, divide this by 2, and in, instead of dividing by 2, let's just multiply 2 to both sides. So you have minus 81, and just get 2 times s of 2. I'm just multiplying by 2, so this 2 goes away, and you have 2 times s of 2 on the other side. And 2s of 2 and 2s of 2, they're going to cancel out. And moving 81 to the other side, they get us r1 squared plus r2 squared plus r3 squared is equal to 81. And since r1, r2, and r3 are positive integers, there are only a limited amount of subsets of the positive integers that's going to make this work out. And after some trial and error, you're going to find r sub 1, r2, r3 can be of the form 447, 366, or 148. And uh, there's not there's going to be nothing greater than 148. When, once you have 9, once one of them, once one of the roots become 9, once it's more than 8, then uh, you, there's no way we are going to have positive integers because 9 squared is already 81. You're not going to add any positive thing to 81 to get to 81. So we have these three, 
And what do we know? We want to, we want to find the the values of B. Was it? No, the values of C. The two possible values of C. And to start with, Steve is going to give him a value of A, and there has to be two possible values of C. And we know A is R1, R2 plus R3. So let's try to evaluate R1, R2, R3, add it together. In this case, that's 8 plus 7 is 15. For this one, you have 9 plus 6, which is also 15. And for this one, it's 13. And since you only have two possible sets, it's not going to be this one. We want the ones with the same value of A, the ones with two possible sets. So we want to check out 447 and 366. So now all we have to do is evaluate C for 447 and 366, and we should be done. So let me rewrite this polynomial, 2x cubed minus 2a squared. So p of x is 2x squared minus 2a, uh, 2x cubed, 2ax squared, what was it? Plus a squared minus 81x, plus a squared minus 81x, plus minus c, minus c. And we know value of a for this one is 15. We know the value of a for this one is 15. So we can make, we can plug what we know into this equation. We have 2x cubed minus 30x squared plus squaring 15 gets us 225. Subtracting 81 gets us 144. 144x minus c. So let's start with, let's start with 447. Let's start with 447. Plugging, let's, well, 4, 4, 4, 4, 7, all we have to do is plug in 4 for x. So let's try x equals to 4. And that gets us p of 4, which p of 4, which should be uh, 0, because 4 is a 0, should be 2 times 64, 4 cubed, minus 30 times 16, plus 144 times 4, minus c. And we can try to solve this. And this thing is same thing as 128 minus 480 plus 675 minus C. And what's the same thing as? So 576 minus 480 is going to get us 96. Adding it to 128 gets us 224. Let's continue. Now let's try 366. So let's choose x equals to 3. And we have, plugging it in, we have 2 times 27 minus 30 times 9 plus 144 times 3 minus c. So let's continue this. We have, we have 54 minus 270 plus 432 minus c is equal to 0. And that's going to get us C is equal to 54 plus 432, which is 486 minus 270, which is 216. So we are one step away from being done. Our answer is 224 plus 216. So our answer is 224 plus 216, also known as 440. So our answer to this Amy number six question is going to be 440.